Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to learn how to season our meat. Now we got a nice roll, three pound roll of hamburger, okay? So let me show you something. You don't have to be afraid of spices. Always remember, you can add more, but you can't take away. Rule number one, okay? Follow me. Let me show you. So today we are going to be using Smoky Dry Rub. It's very good with beef, chicken, or pork. Then we're going to introduce you to a little bit of soul seasoning. With this, a little bit goes a long way. Then, of course, we've got our classic onion powder because no burger is complete without it. Then, of course, we got our garlic powder because why not? And then a little bit of pepper for our basic white bitches. And we're going to add a little bit of liquid smoke for added flavor. So stay tuned and let me show you what the process looks like. Okay, step one. You want to make sure you get water good and warm, not too hot but not too cold. Then you're going to wet your hands. You're going to take some of your dish soap. You're going to wash your hands pre and after, okay? Now remember, happy birthday, okay? And then once we get done, you want to make sure not to splash too much because we're not trying to add it into our meat, okay? So normally you do this ahead of time, but I want to show you step by step, okay? So let's go ahead and move to our meat. All right, so right now we got our meat. See how it is? It's not all bulky. You want to mix it up a little bit. That's why we were washing our hands earlier. So what you're going to do first is you're going to take this liquid gold, okay? It's smoke. A little bit goes a long way, all right? So you're going to add that in there. That's going to help them spices stick to everything, okay? You're going to take one of your hands and you're going to mix that liquid smoke into it, okay? You can also do this with Worcestershire sauce. Just depends on you and what you want to do. Okay, so our next step, we're going to add some pepper, okay? Oh, my God. It'll be all right. It's going to mix in. So add that pepper. Mix in your meat. Beautiful, ain't it? It's a beautiful process. Imagine it like a meatloaf without the eggs and all the other shit. You know what I mean? This is the pre-game to any cookout. Then you're going to take this and you're going to spread it around. It's garlic powder. Just so you can see. Mix it up. Get it going good. Then you're going to add a little bit more. Then, this is what I told you. A little bit goes a long way because it's salty, okay? It's a little bit more flavor than you're used to, but it'll be all right. You're going to do a little spread, okay? Now, once you start mixing your meat, you're going to feel the spices. And feel the love in it. Now we're going to add a little bit more. Like I said, a little bit goes a long way. And then we're done with that. She's done. Okay? We're done with her. Now we're going to add the smoke rub, all right? You can go generous with this. It's going to have a little bit of kick. But I think you guys can handle it. It's not too much of a kick. Just enough to bring out those spices. It's like pepper, but a little bit stronger. It's not really like pepper. It's more of like a... I meant like spice-wise. Like a Cajun kind of rub. It's really good. I really like it on steak. Now, if you're going to ask where I got these, these are... Uh, all these are save a lot special. Did you put onion powder in it already? He's messing with my spices. Give me a second. Then we got our onion powder, okay? This is what makes it go... Now, normally, I would like fresh onion in mine, but, you know, it is what it is. Everybody likes their own. Then once you get to this step, you're going to cover your meat. You're going to let it set for a good five minutes. Let all that come together. Then you patty it out, you cook it, and you're done. Remember, wash your hands. Sure to get in between the nails because wow. that's where all the gunk lives. All right, till next time. Bye, guys.